Hello everyone and welcome to round 19 of F1 live season here at Interlagos Brazil. It's promised to be a very exciting race here today and a potential first league champion in a riot box. He only needs to finish in the top three basically and he can claim the title right here today. But here I am Marco FD with my trusty teammate Kifla trying to prevent that of course so we are on the grid we have four lights five lights and away we go with a delayed start but that doesn't matter and I pull up with a fairly decent acceleration slotting in behind my teammate that was my plan for turn one because I didn't want to uh, yeah, risk any of our uh, positions here and just pull away with uh, in his slipstream from the rest but it seems he has a slight better run out of the turn corner and we have right box on the inside and he pretty much leaves no room and then i don't know what happened there uh, we got side pot glitched by the mercedes but it wasn't really a side pot anyways we are in dead last now so from a beautiful start down to stone cold last so um yeah i wasn't really happy at that moment i was in a uh, skype call with tom and nick and uh, yeah i was kind of pissed off but uh yeah since it was only lap one the track is really dense and short there are uh, many mistakes to be made in 36 laps so plenty of opportunities left until the end i uh yeah we fought and then uh, since the tire strategy on this game uh, can be very uh, you can be very liberal with it i was planning a one stop from the beginning sort of but only if uh, i had to really because if you drive at the front you can just pit a lap after everyone and if you have a decent gap still come out ahead of everyone but at this point, I thought that's the only thing I can do. I slip up a little bit on uh, the Senna S, but uh, yeah, I have to do a lot of good laps to catch up to everyone. So yeah. So on lap three, we go purple, and we are catching up to the back runners, Cal HD, the one who hit me off. But yeah, it really wasn't his fault. I don't really blame him for him goes into the pits i think not uh, by intention because he tried to overtake uh Carrel 95 but we go purple uh by uh four tenths over kifla's lap i think i'm not sure i was in pretty much uh concentration mode and not talking to anyone and K yeah Carrel uh, tries to let us through but he disconnects while he does it so very unfortunate for him he didn't quit as uh, people say usually uh, you know, that happens something unfortunate happens to him and then he quits because uh, he has a little short of fuse than others i guess that's not something on him it's just he doesn't tolerate a lot and every person is different in that fact but that doesn't matter uh, i tolerate a little more so i stayed in the race after a spun off in the lap one and we are on the back of tom again because he also got spun off on turn one on turn one but uh yeah he, he overtook us while we trying to get back on the track from our spin off and uh unfortunately uh, we didn't lose any part of our wing because we pretty much landed in the back of the barrier and there's no damage on the rear wing on this game at least not uh, from the programmers so yeah trying to chase down tom phantom here and uh I think we might catch up with him here on lap 7 going out of the well, pretty much last corner because you can't really call this straight a corner and if you don't really consider this a corner either then we have to steer anyways so uh, Tom is on the back of uh, two other cars presumably NF Gaming and Max Shepard not sure no it's actually NF Gaming and Nebula Dalton and it seems that Tom got in between 
the two of them and Dalton is uh, trailing behind a bit he tried to defend from me but I was uh, way too far back from him to even mount a attack so he was kind of looking silly on my screen there no offense he's he is a very good guy anyways we tried to follow them out of uh, the first sector into the second sector and this is really a tricky section so there's no really uh, any overtaking opportunity if, unless you have like fresh options compared to old primes I guess and then be very liberal around the outside and have a lot of trust in the other driver I tried to overtake around the outside I failed there Dalton was uh, too smart for me there so yeah we're gonna try and uh, just catch him on this straight trying to stick to his gearbox in his slipstream but Dalton has a very good gearbox as well I mean our uh, gearbox is uh, arrow is lower I guess so uh, I have a hard time overtaking him here even with DRS so I'm gonna have to break very late here um, we still hit the apex pretty nicely there and uh, that's uh, Dalton uh, behind us now and he might be able to mount an attack because he obviously has the DRS since he is getting close we go to the middle he's still giving room on the inside and uh, clean racing here I love the race but it's easiest because he's a clean racer and I try to be a clean racer obviously and, uh, yeah you get fun scenarios that way so anyways yes we go into the tricky section and I kind of lose the rear end so and going to lap 10 I don't know what that skip was all about nice editing Marco anyways we are on the back of NF Gaming and Mike Shepard and Tom but Tom kind of got short end of the stick there and I managed to overtake them as well so here I have DRS NF Gaming as well Mike Shepard didn't get DRS and NF took the outside line and we tried to take the inside line on Mac but we are next to him now and uh, yeah I break because I don't want to get into a barrier so we just slot him behind him we touch him a little there because he breaks so early so we're gonna go around the outside here at least try but we get squeezed out by Mac which I didn't like and then Fenton does his Fenton dive and we both uh, overtake both of them and uh, yeah Mac uh, reported uh, Tom for that on my screen it didn't look all that terrible well he did come from nowhere but technically there was like a wide open door and uh, yeah, maybe if he uh, broke he didn't really have anywhere to go except inside the uh, max uh, car that was uh, would be turning into the corner at that moment and then shoving him off as possible and then yeah Tom gets us again and we get shoved from Mac and Mac is obviously pissed at Tom's uh, move and uh, we get the short end of it because I'm between Tom and uh, Mac probably wants to get revenge so here we go we have DRS and Mac as well and we get another shell from Mac there so I was thinking uh, what uh, is going on in his cockpit and is in, in his mind so uh, just start, start to wiggle a bit and then just slow him down a bit and he uh, again sort of dive, dive bomb shoves us so. but we uh, keep our cool and uh, we just shut the door on him, on him like uh, he did to me on the lap before that and that's done and dusted there so we are now as Mac and uh, came to contend with and we can chase down Phantom so his car is lagging all over the place so I didn't really have any feel where he was on track really so I was just guessing here because this car was squirming all over the place and uh, I thought uh, I uh, might get him into this turn and uh, I uh, tried to go for it and I don't want to play making motions. So the inside line and yeah Tom complains that I supposedly shoved him off here. So he uh, starts to shove me a little bit and I just let him through because no really any uh, use uh, trying to shove people off the track in my opinion so uh, and he told me uh, to let him through I'm like okay I'm just waiting but yeah I lose a little ground to him here he obviously has uh, the upper hand here on this slower section but we keep our cool and we try to stay in the slipstream and just uh, he locks up and 
Yeah, we just uh, go into high fuel here in the slipstream. Beautiful exit on the final corner, in my opinion. Again, doesn't really matter. And we go around the outside. Tom defends the inside. He is in high fuel. I'm in high fuel. But uh, yeah, I break and I shut the door on him right away because uh, I didn't want to play anymore. So I had to get some laps in if I wanted to have a chance at a podium in the end. We are currently in P1, that's because everyone pitted already. And uh, I decided to go for a one stop, so I just kept going. And my goal was to go to lap 16 on the uh, options and then 20 laps on the primes. Because if you can do 14 on the options, then why not do 20 on those uh, good old orange ones. But as you can see uh, on lap 14 we do go wide on a lot of corners and as you can see the back end is sort of getting unstable we can be very late on the power which obviously isn't good and this this uh, left hander is also very tricky you sort of uh, go on the power and then off and then on and off and, uh, yeah not really full power through there unless you are on fresh tires and uh, in a, a lower fuel mixture i mean yeah so anyways here on lap 16 we finally go for the pit stop so from 14 to 16 like i said before that was the plan and uh, that's what i was going for and uh, tom has the same idea because we obviously discussed this on the chat or the, well, on the skype so uh, Tom is then uh, pinning behind us, we don't hold each other up or anything because the pit stops are a little longer on this game so we don't get held up uh, in this case uh, with uh, the gap that I had to him. Even though they were still working on my car when he passed our pit lane. So come out on the track and Tom is still behind us but he has another car right behind him. And we are chasing down NF Gaming who is on the options according to my uh, uh, my pit crew I guess so we might have trouble closing the gap just in but we'll just see about that because I have to run it for a lot longer already so skipping from 17 to 19 that was Mickey Notions again and Biden at first uh, sub sprint mode which I don't like him uh, inviting me seven times during my league race at least, and, uh, yeah. Don't invite me during league races, Mickey. Anyways, on the straight, chasing down NF Gaming, and uh, he is still on the option, so he will have relatively better acceleration out of corners like these, for instance, because uh, the primes are generally a little more sluggish. But it's okay; they are more durable, and they still need to carry me for 16 more laps so I'm now not going about to go uh, full attack mode with them now just to get past NF gaming because I am expecting him to pit soon and I'll just have clean air in front of me uh, after that and I'll just nab some slipstream from him now while the tires I still have the grip uh, from a distance and I can get some DRS and some fuel saving done and then I can pump up, pump in some laps after that. So yeah, NF Gaming has lots of fuel in reserve, so he is bound to pit now, and so he does as well. So we are going for our, uh, yeah, our pretty much uh, quality, uh, quality, uh, quality laps here. So here on lap 24 out of 36. We have Tom 11 seconds behind us now, but he's being chased down by two cars. As you can see on the mini map, I think, I don't know. 11 seconds behind me, I don't know who the car is in between those, because it doesn't look 11 seconds away from me. Doesn't matter, um, Jay pitted on the last lap, so he went for a three stop. So he needs to overtake me on track beat me but he doesn't necessarily need to beat me obviously he just needs to beat Tom who is in third at the moment so it will be uh, well technically Jay could have finished fourth and then the next race he can win it or be on uh, the podium but it doesn't really matter he still needs to be uh, scoring more points and 
I need to score the full points, but uh, yeah, I have every trust in uh, my teammate at this point, of course. And the Red Bull will has also uh, only have a few points lead in the constructors, so uh, we also need to make sure we get good points for that, so that we get to uh, seal this uh, season off with a uh, win there. So lap 27, we go through the Senna's once again, and we are kind of getting a little bit of struggle here the tires must be going through some uh, graining phase here i don't know and maybe i was getting a little bit tired but the lines aren't the best lines anymore and i am later on the power than uh, i was like 10 laps ago and uh, yeah it's sort of a cruise mode i guess but we can't really be in a cruise mode now because uh, we still have Jay behind us and I was uh, supposed to be looking at the gap a second ago but we will see it again in about one corner time so Jay riot box overtook Tom obviously by this time and uh, yeah I'm 11 seconds behind Kifla and Jay will be let's see second second seven seconds uh, to Jay and we still have nine laps to go eight now we go to a high fuel mixture on the back straight just to get some uh, speed in and make sure that Jay doesn't uh, go come too fast too close too fast but 6.9 is the gap now so he will be closing on us uh, on each straight pretty much and he is pumping in uh, purple laps at the moment because uh, his final stint is on options and at the moment they are still fresh because he didn't pit too long ago but uh, by the time uh, we uh, reach uh, lap uh, 33 or 34 his option uh, advantage um, must be uh, sort of gone in my opinion and uh, my primes obviously aren't fresh anymore by the end either but it, uh, at a certain point it doesn't really uh, degrade in the pace too much you just have to be more careful on the throttle like here I just uh, struggle with the back end through the Senna S because it's a downhill corner and uh, yeah you need uh, I'm not as fast through it because uh, of the tires and because you're not having the speed you don't have the downforce either so you have to be careful with the throttle and the slipperiness, slippiness of the so lap 35 we have 4.4 seconds to Jay so he, uh, he, ca he caught us up by three seconds but he only has a lap and a half left now so um, we have maintained our pace uh, pretty well still on optimal not pretty sure how much fuel left but uh, we still have some uh, fuel to be uh, Spending on straights, and that's always a good thing. Uh, anyways, Kifla is close to us. That's because he pitted a lot earlier than us, and he also did a one stop for Prime. So his are pretty dead compared to ours. And ours, uh, I can tell you at the time, didn't feel too uh, playful uh, either anymore. But uh, yeah, it is a multi 21 or multi 12 situation here. So. Kifla knows what's going on and uh, even though his uh, intentions were uh, the best and he, uh, like you're going to see here, I have DRS, I, I, there's no way I could overtake him on this straight with this distance, but yeah, he slows down for me and I appreciate it a lot, letting me win and uh, making sure I get the maximum uh, point uh, yielded in a race shame he doesn't have like a rocket launcher on the back of his car and then uh, he could uh, slow down a bit and then uh, wait for Jay uh, to be uh, close and then, uh, fire it but uh, yeah anyways uh, lap 36 we are going to take the win here at uh, Interlagos probably because uh, even though we uh, were totally at the back the start of the race the one-stop strategy uh, did work and uh, we 
just make sure we keep uh, our teammate in our slipstream and uh, we go over the line a few tents between each other because that's uh, also I'd like uh, if my teammate lets me through to be as close to me over the finish as possible so kind of uh, go uh, teammates as uh, hand in hand as teammates you know so uh, anyways that's uh, the race and uh, according to the points at the end uh, Jay finished third so that means that he has won F1 live season's first ever season on the PC so congratulations to Mr. J Russell and uh, hopefully next year uh, we can be a lot more competitive and uh, I don't have to put in 700 hours first to be competitive with you mate <laughs> Even though I had a lot of fun. Next race will be starting at the back in Abu Dhabi. Just for fun. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.